What's going on, YouTube? This is SG1 Sports, and you're watching our college football channel. We continue to take a look at different college football playoff scenarios, and in this video, we're going to look at Notre Dame and Alabama, the number one and number two teams in the country. Are both of them locks for the college football playoff? Have they already guaranteed themselves a spot in the top four? And when I say that, I'm obviously not talking about a big upset coming in the regular season. So we're not talking about Syracuse upsetting Notre Dame or LSU upsetting Alabama. We're assuming they're going to win those games. They're huge favorites in their final regular season games. We're talking about the conference championship games. We're talking about Notre Dame potentially losing to Clemson. Alabama can, can potentially losing to Florida in the SEC championship. So that is what we're talking about when, when we say these teams are playoff locks. So regardless of what happens in the conference championship games, they are in the college football playoff. And I kind of think that, yeah, they are locks to make the college football playoff. We're going to look at each scenario uh, with each team losing in their conference championship. And I'm going to tell you who I think will make the college football playoff in that scenario. So we start with Alabama. If they lose, if Alabama loses to Florida, in the SEC championship, then what happens to the playoff picture? How do the final four wind up going? So I think in that scenario, number one goes to Notre Dame. Notre Dame, uh, again, assuming in this scenario, Notre Dame wins, Alabama loses. And then we're going to look at if Alabama wins and Notre Dame loses. So here, again, Alabama loses to Florida, Notre Dame beats Clemson. Notre Dame then goes to the number one spot. Number two then becomes Florida. Florida becomes the number two overall seed. I believe they will bypass Ohio State. I think the win over Alabama will propel them all the way up to number two because of the resume that they will have, because they will have that win over Alabama. I think Florida winds up at number two. And then at number three, we would have Ohio State. This could potentially be Alabama. I don't know if they go all the way from one to four, but then also... Is the committee going to want to put this this game right back out there? Florida, Alabama, after they had just played. And I don't think they're supposed to match these teams up. They're just supposed to rank them. But I think that's got to be in the back of their mind. So assuming Ohio State, and that's what we're going to do also in this scenario. We're going to assume that Ohio State wins out. They go undefeated. They get to play all their games. So in this scenario, Ohio State would go to number three. And then Alabama goes to number four. So Alabama, with a loss to Florida, still would make the college football playoff. There is not a team that could pass Alabama, in my opinion. Who would it be? It's not going to be Texas A&M. Alabama beat them by like 28 points. It's not going to be Cincinnati. They're not going to have the resume. Alabama would still be in the college football playoff in this scenario. So the Crimson Tide loses to Florida. I think Florida goes all the way up to number two. Alabama drops to number four. Possibly Alabama goes only to number three. Possibly Ohio State goes to number two. Florida goes to number three. I mean, there are different ways this could potentially go uh, but I think one thing is for sure, Notre Dame would be number one in this scenario. Alabama would be in, whether it's four, whether it's three. And Clemson would be out. So Clemson would be the team with two losses, not making it into the college football playoff. And then those teams that are just outside the top four now. And I know there's an argument that Texas A&M beat Florida head-to-head. -head. That's not going to matter. I promise you, it will not matter if it plays out like this. Florida would have two top 10 wins. Their resume would just be so much better than Texas A&M's. Texas A&M won that game at home by a field goal in a very close game early in the season. Florida would be in. They will be in if they beat Alabama, no doubt about it. So let's go to the other side of this. What if Notre Dame loses? And this is the one that I think is a little bit closer, a little bit more interesting. Uh, I think Alabama is a lock, no matter what, assuming they win the regular season games, Alabama is in, no doubt about it. Notre Dame, it's it's not quite, quite as clear. Uh, we're gonna look at what I think would happen. And in this scenario, I'm gonna assume that Notre Dame loses a pretty close game. They lose by seven to 14 points, somewhere in there. If they get blown out, that would change this a little bit. I think if Notre Dame gets gets beat by 30, they probably don't make the college football playoff. Is the, is the committee really going to put a team in that just lost to, to another playoff team by 30? Probably not. So that would open the door if that were to happen, but I don't think anyone expects that to happen. I think worst case scenario here, Notre Dame loses by, by 17 to 20. And even then, I think that's going to probably keep them in the top four so we go to the playoff picture 
In this scenario, Alabama beats Florida, Notre Dame loses to Clemson. Alabama gets the number one spot. They stay at number one. Uh, obviously, that's an easy one. And then number two, this is also easy. It goes to Clemson. Clemson with a win over Notre Dame. They're at three now. That would put them up to number two. We would see the Tigers uh, right there in that number two spot. Again, in these scenarios, we're assuming Ohio State's going to win out. They're going to get to play all their games. And if they do that, I think they go to number three. There is an argument, if the, especially if the game is really, really close, if it's a, a game-winning field goal for Clemson or an overtime game, there's definitely an argument for Notre Dame to actually stay at number three. And normally, I think you would say, well, we don't want to see a rematch. But I've been saying this all along. If that if it does go that way, I actually would like to see a rematch here, Clemson and Notre Dame, because they've already played twice. If they had only played once, that would be different. But because they played twice already and they split that series, again, in this scenario, I think you got to split the tie. you got to have that tiebreaker game. So I would love to see Clemson versus Notre Dame. Maybe the committee goes that route, but I think if they're just going based off of, of what the, how they normally rank these teams, I think Ohio State – being undefeated and they've already shown they're really respecting this team they're not going to penalize them for not playing as many games so i think ohio state goes to number three in this scenario so who's at number four we've got notre dame who just lost just lost a game but they were at number two before you've got texas a&m who's still sitting there at number five just outside the top four going into this weekend uh they potentially could have a win over auburn this saturday and then another win there uh, I think Ole Miss is who they're supposed to play that day. You got Cincinnati. You compare an undefeated Cincinnati team to a Notre Dame team with one loss, a team that beat Clemson, but it, but they beat Clemson without Trevor Lawrence. Uh, I think North Carolina could play a factor in this. If North Carolina loses to Miami, that hurts Notre Dame. Then they really only have that one win over Clemson, a shorthanded Clemson team. And that's where it really comes into play if they get beat by you know, 14 to 20 points. That's where it gets a little bit, a little bit sketchy here. But I assume, assuming Notre Dame is at least close in that game, I think the committee would keep them in. I think Notre Dame would go to number four. We would have Alabama versus Notre Dame, Clemson versus Ohio State, and this is actually my official playoff prediction. So this is how I think it's going to go. I think this would happen right here. If Alabama does take care of business against Florida, Notre Dame loses to Clemson, and I believe that's the way Vegas has things going right now then this is your playoff. Is Notre Dame a lock? They're not quite a lock. But if they are at least competitive against Clemson, I think they are in. Alabama is a lock. Again, assuming both teams win their regular season games, I don't care if Alabama loses by 30 to Florida. Alabama's in. They've just done so much. They're already at number one. It doesn't matter. Bama will be in. They're a lock. Notre Dame is very close to a lock very close to a lock i think only a blowout loss would keep them out and uh, again assuming it goes that way i think these are your four teams now what happens if both teams lose what if alabama loses what if notre dame loses that opens the door for florida that opens the door for or you know keeps clemson in there what happens with ohio state alabama notre dame ohio state who gets left out in that scenario or maybe Florida doesn't make it in there. What happens here? Well, I'm going to do that on the next video. So we continue to go through and show you all these different scenarios. My next video is going to be about that exact scenario. Alabama and Notre Dame both losing. Please watch for that video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We're going to be breaking down all kinds of different playoff scenarios today and tomorrow. So subscribe, hit that bell. Uh, so you get the notification, you know when the video goes up. I know YouTube is not always kind to me uh, as far as uh, showing my videos, even to subscribers. I have subscribers all the time and tell me they have no idea when I post a video, even though they have notifications turned on. So hopefully it'll work. But again, I'll continue to break these scenarios down, really just looking at the more realistic ones. But if you have an, an idea, if you have something you maybe want to see, you can comment that down below um, and maybe I'll get to it. But again, I kind of have... A list of, of these different scenarios that I'm I'm planning to do but maybe it's, you show me something that I'm like wow that's interesting and I'll do a video on it so again comment those those ideas also your thoughts on these scenarios down below thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more here on the SG1 Sports College Football Channel